Khaled and Reem were inseparable. Her grandfather was her whole world. Her favorite game, pulling his beard, and he would pull her piggy tails. I'll let go, she says, if you let go. <laughs> Khaled just can't let go of his little Reem. Now searching for memories amid the rubble of his home. This was Reem's doll, he says. The family was asleep when an airstrike nearby brought down their house in southern Gaza last week. Khaled woke up screaming for his children and grandchildren, struggling to walk in the dark and through the wreckage to find them. I couldn't find anyone. They were buried underneath all this rubble, he says. My daughter Mesa was here. Her children, Reem and Tarek, were here in her arms. Mesa and her sister barely survived. After a few days in intensive care, they're now recovering at a relative's house. I felt something heavy on top of me. I started screaming, Mesa says. I heard Dream screaming next to me. I told her, there's something heavy on top of me. I can't reach you. I said my final prayers. And next, I woke up in the hospital. Mesa woke up to the news. Her three and five-year-old children were gone. Their lifeless bodies found together under the rubble. They slept next to each other that night. They slept early, she says. I told them to stay up a little longer, but they said they wanted to sleep. At the hospital, I was just numb, she says. I hugged them. I wanted to get as many hugs as I could. No matter how much I hugged them, I didn't get enough. Their final days lived in a war they were too young to understand. Why they no longer could dress up, go out and play, or get their favorite treats. With their father abroad working, they lived with their grandfather. Reem was so attached to him and he spoiled her. They kept asking for fruit, but there's no fruit because of the war, he says. I could only find them these tangerines. Khalid holds the tangerine he gave Reem, the one she didn't get to eat, and pinned close to his heart her tiny earring. He breaks down as he remembers their final evening, how his grandchildren begged him to take them out to play. But he couldn't. Airstrikes were everywhere. Khaled says he's not a fighter. They had nothing to do with the war. But like so many in Gaza, his family paid the price. Khaled held Reem in his arms for one last time. He hugged her motionless body, opened her eyes and kissed her goodbye. I was asking her to kiss me like she used to, but she didn't, he says. I used to kiss her on her cheeks, on her nose, and she would giggle. I kissed her, but she wouldn't wake up, he recalls. I held Tare. I fixed his hair the way he liked it. I was wishing, hoping they were only sleeping, he says, but they weren't sleeping. They're gone. Gone a month before her fourth birthday a birthday Reem shared with her grandfather. She was the soul of my soul, Khaled says. Jumana Karachi, CNN, London.